This short video explains the measurement of the roof structure and roof cover coverings for approximate quantities. The roof structure and the roof uh, coverings are two separate items, but they share the same quantities. So when you're presenting your dimensions, make sure you make use of anding on and bracketing to make your measurement efficient. When we measure both the roof structure item and the roof coverings, we measure not on the sloping um, area, but on the roof plan area. So here I've got my little model on my roof. The roof plan area is the area occupied by the roof, I, like its footprint. So if we lift the roof off, we actually have the roof plan area. So we'd multiply the roof plan length by the roof plan area. If we actually have a look at the section, we can see that our roof is going to be a greater area than our um, footprint of our building. So we need to make an adjustment for the overhang at the eaves and at the verge. So the next step is to work out the orientation of our roof. If we look at our roof plan, you can see that we have information uh, given um, regarding our sections, section A and section B. If we look up here, we've got information on section A. If we transpose that information onto here, we can imagine that our roof slopes from this point here on our rear elevation up to the ridge and slopes down to our front elevation here. So we now know the orientation of the roof. We can conf confirm that this is the, the length of our roof plan and that this is our width. So now we need to think about the adjustments. First of all, let's consider the roof length, plan length. Now, this calculation is an intermediate calculation, so it needs to be done in the waste column. So, if we look at our drawing, we've been given the external dimensions. So we know the measurement from the outside edge of the brickwork over here to the outside edge of the brickwork over here but we need to make an adjustment for the overhang of the verge. Normally we could scale this of the drawing, but if we look at our legend, our notes, we can see that we've been given an allowance of 75 millimetres, so we know what the overhang is. So in our waste calculation, to establish the roof um, plan length, it's going to be the external dimensions of the building, add twice the overhang for the verge. Now we do the same thing with our width. So if we go back to our plan, we know the um, width of the building to the outside edge of the brickwork. This is a little bit more clearer to see because we actually have more detailed section. So the adjustment we need to make for the width is the overhang of the eaves. So this is this detail here. So what we need to do is to scale from here to the outside edge of the eaves de detail, this point here. So you need to scale this. So we have the width to the outside of the brickwork and then we add the overhang for the eaves at the front elevation and we do the same for the overhang at the rear elevation. So it's the width plus twice the um, width of the eaves. So now that will be established in our waste column and we can then go ahead and measure the roof plan area in our dimension column.